What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play is the United States. And in the last episode, uh, we started uh, our role against the Native Americans. We actually uh, effectively managed to save our, uh, save our little burgeoning empire. And we've taken two major cities, one in the north and one in the south. And it's in the south where we can make the most gains because we do have this force under... Nathaniel Green is able to sort of firefight and make sure everyone, uh, everyone's doing okay on the, on the uh, unrest, in the on the public order charts. So, Cherokee territory is okay. Kentuck territory is okay with no garrison. Although interestingly, oh, it's because you've got your church school. Gotcha. Um. Whereas Cayuga is, ju is just positive generally across the board, but it's because you've got a massive amount of garrison forces. So these guys are going to be here for a while, um, because my agent is probably going to work his way. So the French have church, have a Jesuit college here, so it's no point trying to convert Louis Lower Louisiana. So we probably want to go Chicasa. Don't need to worry about Teleco, that's being converted. Fort de Charter up to Michigan Territory, up to Niagara probably go that way uh, but let's hit enter so in the grand scheme things are going quite well we are starting well the, there's always a phase in empire total war i think when you when your empire is your empire is secure you've not got any real threats and you feel that you're strong enough to deal with any threats and you've got and an, you've got you're bringing in a, a good amount of money and you've got a lot of economic buildings you can actually spend it on. I mean, I might cancel Quebec's military access because I we're allies for now, but they, they were allies of convenience, but I want to... I don't want them to uh, be able to wander through my territories. But then again, they can't attack me like that. Uh, they will be pulled back from the border. Um, but yeah, when your empire is secure, you've got a good income, turn to turn, and you've got a, a lot of things you can spend that money on. And that's always a, a fantastic place to be in. Because it means that you can... You can either firefight emergencies and recruit larger armies. Or you can spend a bunch of money on your economy. Which is what I want to do. Of course, it all depends on how the other uh, nations behave. But we should be getting to a stage now where some of them should start getting... Filtered out. And by filtered out, I mean destroyed. Hmm. So Britain owns Sardinia. That's interesting. Yep, you're going to be panicking. You're quite confederacy. Because you know you're in trouble. Let's see how the Ottomans behave. So I have been asked in the past about what do I do when the Ottomans crash the game. And I'm not entirely sure what that person means when they when they talk about Empire crashing the game. But imagine what's going on right now. Where the Ottoman Empire turn phase, you know, you the game just kind of goes incredibly still, sometimes for very long periods of time. I think that's because the AI is doing lots of things in the fog of war, which you don't have visibility of, so there's nothing to see. Um, but also, hey, that's not good. That's probably coming my way. Um, but the, I don't really have, if I have crashes, it's more likely to be in a battle. Because I found that what the Ottomans do, it doesn't actually make the game crash. It just takes a long time. So that's why I chopped the recording. Um, so you guys don't have, don't have to sit there and watch it, and I, I play on my phone or whatever. But yeah, you, it usually it doesn't actually crash the game, it just takes a bit of time. Frustrating, and usually it goes in peaks and troughs. You know, they'll do it for a few turns in a row, then it'll go away. And... Righty ho ho. Get better roads, roads are on the way. Granville Stapleton's going to... This put that territory under siege just for the time being. We will attack it. Florida, St. Mark's. Craft workshop. How may I serve with all? So ultimately, this guy will have con will convert. 
you'll, you'll roughly have converted the territory population by the time he gets to Chikasa, and you can push on. A rally, get a craft workshop, rebuild the Orc Town as a shipyard, because I was dumb, and let's recruit a militia unit to sit in it. Um, yeah, your school is being built. So yeah, it looks like Spain is sieging, uh, blockading my ports, but they're actually not. Um, Albany and these guys pull back to Philadelphia because we haven't got to worry about a northern push yet I may build a church school north just to try and get these guys to simmer down so I can use this army and push them west elsewhere cotton and tobacco Cotton's worth more, but I'm producing less tobacco. I like being, um, I like diversity, diversification of my exports. That's, I really like that in general. Um, everything's okay. Not upgrading the church schools. We're not going to need it <laughs> very long, in very long at all. So let's attack the Iroquois garrison at Fort Shata, if that's even how you pronounce it. But we'll take this, dismantle the government building, get ready to provide pressure northward um, but we will want to take out the little French pocket to the south and we'll probably do that at the same time we move against Maine okay let's get my front line set up Consent or Marines push on the right. Militia on the left. But I do generally look to always get rid of my militia as soon as possible. Skirmishers on the right. I mean, this army could do with some better cavalry. It's for darn sure. Howitzers start popping off shots from the rear. Foot artillery. This rise at the back is good enough. Horse artillery will accompany the men on the right flank. Let's get everyone onto the top of this hill. Provincial cavalry is going up against. Potentially going up against the unit of lancers. That's not good. Hang on, my light infantry in. Good, good, good. So they're all focusing on the native artillery. Unlimber the horse artillery because that here is high enough. Okay, begin advancing towards the enemy. My light infantry down here, where they're going to place stakes. I'm not going to directly place stakes, they're just going to open fire against the chief's bodyguard. Eight cavalrymen. You play stakes. Let my long riflemen do their job. Just until we chase them away. And the long riflemen play stakes.
Marines advance. Oh, there we go. I think we've got them to expose themselves. Gonna be dicey. Gun down the musketmen, militia push forward, try find the gaps. Get my foot artillery to try and engage the chief's bodyguard. Yeah, you're not gonna be around for very long. My infantry may take a bit of paste in from you, but make sure we shatter them. Militia charge into the back of the medicine men. Don't like being charged in the rear, do you? Hello. How it says engage. Get my Marines to redeploy. Get my form up behind them, get my cavalry off to the flank. You guys. Format. Native units. Format. God, my, my skirmishes are actually chasing after them. The native warriors, marines. Break off attack. Good hits. Get my native warrior auxiliary in. Push my light cavalry forward. Don't worry about the chief's bodyguard. He's getting shot at by my light infantry. out of the way. How it says drop shells on the chief's bodyguard. Try to chase them with my cavalry. Everyone pile into this combat. Smack them with my light cavalry. They won't like that very much. Charge the infantry on into the next unit. Chief's bodyguard's gone. Pull my light infantry back. Pull my cavalry back. Oh, it's a bombard the Native American warriors that are coming in. Get my marines stuck in again. Two units of line infantry to push up, and my cavalry smash into these units that have tried to flank around. But yeah, this is exactly why playing as the natives is so tricky. Because even when you get into combat, the regular infantry are they're just good. Form the line. There we go. Now even my skirmishes are in position to start popping off shots at Native American warriors. And let's let these guys advance. So everyone else has been pushed back. It's just the one lowly bow unit. Get my howitzers to shoot at them. 
I mean, my cavalry is going to pull them up and ready to push, but for the most part, I'm just letting my artillery deal with them. Hello. Native American warriors. We have gone stealthed. Oh, no, nope, they're retreating already. These are impetuous, but don't worry, here's the first regiment. My light horse out of the way. Immediately break off attack. Show them your strength. Immediately break off attack. And here comes the US cavalry. We don't, we don't have to chase them down. We've already won the action, and all the units will disappear, so there is no reason to fully squash them. So let's destroy that building. Everybody get well, get replenished as much as you can. So upgrade things we can't, or destroy the things we can't upgrade. But luckily, it looks like most things we haven't got to worry about. Excellent. Cool. Another territory liberated and given the light of reason. We're about to get a new um, university built, so next turn we're going to have to upgrade that. We're going to keep upgrading that. I think that's everything for now. Let's hit end turn. So let's see how the world reacts. I mean, yeah, Quebec are building up just a little bit too much strength there. I don't think I appreciate that. I don't want them to move on Niagara, so I don't sure. Well, not that it matters. We'll go after them and take it from them. Yeah, the next step will be Betraying the French and attacking Maine. Then the next step will be uh, capturing the remaining Native American territories on the continent. Then it will be attacking Mexico. Mexico and Spain. Hopefully by then we should have our navy built up some. And then we can support some uh, amphibious assaults. Austria looks like they're squeezing Prussia. Prussia's getting compressed more and more up against the coast. That's the perfect outcome. Maine have been damaged, pushed back from their offensive action, and the, the natives have also been... They've also suffered some losses. Oh no, okay, that's landing in... Oh no. Okay, you're just taking them all on a little boat trip. Very nice indeed, Ottomans. Quite, not quite sure what the not quite sure what the plan is, but there we go. And is this going to be the start of the? Oh. Oh, stuff is going on, going on. I mean, for the most part, for the Ottomans, what bogs it down, it's just small packets of troops just running around all over the place. Um, Istanbul, the, the issues around Istanbul about not being able to move through the empire unless you move into the city, then out of it again. Um, the path, that, that pathfinding is a bit weird. And it can imagine, I can imagine it makes things a lot more complicated. Rather than just running from A to B, they have to work out, okay... How, what's the best way to do it? I don't know whether the... Well, the, this game's really old. Uh, no alliance, Sweden. We're not looking for... I mean, when we... Even then, I'd probably like to ally with Norway to try and keep them alive, because we don't normally see Norway develop. Ten grand. Prussia has broke their alliance with the Marathas. France has broken their alliance with Sweden. These Europeans are very fickle. 
Okay, lots of stuff to upgrade. First though, let's get fort upgraded. Make sure you guys are continuing your continuing your recruitment. Let's try to get some of the cheaper, more basic upgrades done here. Make sure we upgrade the school to a college. Now Harrisburg is going to research. Carcass shot, begin trying to push down towards quicklime. Um, but yeah, we got a lot of a lot of options. So you can you leave here? Absolutely the not. Sir. Your orders? Okay, I think it's gonna be some economy upgrades then. Although potentially let's look for some of the quicker wins first. Including rebuilding some of these farms, they got destroyed. Cobble Roads, Trading Port in Georgetown. This malicious for occupying Yorktown. Let's take the Carronade Frigate Dolphin and get them to cover Georgetown. Let's see if we can get any more trade relationships. We can. Let's start trading with Russia. Eh, what the hell. Give them measuring tools. I mean, I, I this is really funny, because it's like we're trying to trade with the entire world. Already is trying to. But they said no, Persia said no, the Mamelukes. Nope. Italy's unfriendly. Nope. Fairly sure call and will say no. We're trading with every major power except for the United Provinces because we're at war with them. That does mean that Punda and these two territories are vulnerable. But for now, let's not worry about that. Let's keep maximizing our trade. Cool. My agents carry on maneuvering. Don't worry, Maine. Your weapons will come. Well, Quebec as a whole, your weapons will come. Oh, they're trying again. But yeah, I think with the Iroquois territory to the east, I just need to up, build up the, the government building, get a bit more oppression. Once the church school is built, it will start converting some of them to Protestantism. Oh, the Brits have taken Tangier. Uh, we'll start converting some of them to Protestantism. And then the church school itself will make them happy. Yeah. But yeah, considering in the last episode it was... Things were a bit dicey. And it was looking like... You know, if we didn't win in the south, we're gonna be, we were going to be in some real problems because we couldn't hold off in the north. Uh, now we've it's a bit of a, a bit of a role reversal. Oh my god! There goes the Mughal Empire. So that's one source of trade gone. We gave them something to cling on. Actually, no. We could, oh no, we might have been trading with them from Katak to the southwest. But yep, yeah, the Marathas have secured India, and that means from our side they're going to start coming after us. See if Sweden will pick up an army. Got troops wandering around. No, that, that's our Russian port. That's our trade. This is part of the problem about trading with everyone, is that if if we ever actually manage to trade with everybody, uh, there'll be it'll be crazy <laughs> because everybody in Europe's raiding everybody else. Twelve grand, wealth of nations. Okay, so you can't do that to get the next university, which we're not going to get for a while. 
get a punch card loom. Although, yeah, actually, actually, let's get you on. Just focusing on the military track. Okay, so we've got you. Are you 100% Protestant? You are. We can afford to demolish the church school. Because the religious happiness has only added one. So yeah, we can definitely get rid of that. You're nearly 100% Protestant. Can you leave? You can. I mean, you're a bit of a worry, but you're only a bow unit. You push up towards here. We can push an infantry unit across, one infantry unit across to Fort Chateau to make sure everyone... Nobody starts screwing around. Um, right. Because we've got lots of really good trade relationships. Let's spend some time just investing in things that things to maximize our yield. Or at the very least, try and get some of these uh, increase the size of some of our plantations. We may want to upgrade Pensacola so that they can cope with this expansion of trade goods. So I think Savannah's stuff will either be exported through Charleston or Florida. So one of these ports needs to be... Well, it, it makes sense to boost Florida's because they're about to get... Well, they're going to get extra production from these plantations. It makes a lot of sense. Britain's just built a first-rate ship of the line and we are very far away from that. So you're going to lose all of your animism in one turn. It's not terrible. I could push. You, I should push you guys forward to garrison. 251. An election in three turns. It all generally seems okay. Seeking cover. I mean, my rake, I could have moved him down by ship, but to be honest, it's not a massive rush to kill that agent. Colonial armies on the move. They're raiding Quebec. Yeah, I think as a matter as a bit of a priority, we need to upgrade our um, naval port. But yes, it's very very nice not being at war with everybody. We're able just to dump a bunch of money into our economy. That's really nice. So, the Austrians have taken Paris, so now France, well, France is going to be much, much weaker again, but it just remains, can they hold on to it, because they had it before, um, but they rebelled, so, yeah, let's, let's, let's not count them out yet. So yes, he's still the same. Oh, they're oh, I wonder if they're going to push up against Russia. Maybe, but it definitely looks like Austria is going to be the army to fight later on. Not that, not that it'll matter. We are the United States. We are. <laughs> we're going to be. We're going to dominate the world. We are not interested in that trade. Selective breeding is not a super good technology, and we're going to give you a couple of better ones. No sir, you want some help? Go to Russia. They're your guys. So Sweden's going to try and solidify their borders. Fourteen grand. Upgrade the government building. Upgrade you. Okay, Yorktown. Make sure we are 
expanding our shipyard. So let's build a fifth rate. Um, hmm. <laughs> let's get rid of the communal farming. Okay, so if I pop you out and then pop yes, you in. Sir. Minus one, minus two. You'll be a bit grumpy. I'm going to exempt you from tax. But now, yes. you're all going to advance towards oh, yeah. Niagara. Ready. You're going to advance towards ah. Michigan Territory, which is not... Yeah, that's just an auto-resolve, that is. Demolish the communal farming, because we can't upgrade that. Get some dirt roads. 3,000. So much stuff. So much stuff. Okay, so... What, what I really like doing is trying to finish things. So rather than try and upgrade everything you know, flat, I would say this state capitol building is the last building that we'll have to upgrade of this, you know, for the administration. So if we get rid of get that built, that is done. That will never be a hammer again. There's nothing to upgrade there at all. Control of works. Permit Thurston. No sense of shame. Good. No new techs on the horizon, but you are being upgraded, so that's good. I mean, not a lot going on, but I think we're at a phase where we're just consolidating our power. You know, if I spend all this money on my economy now, I can afford to build army after army after army and just start conquering the world. Yeah, we want to start building up our squadrons. Our naval squadrons. And probably start sending some off to trade zones. But to be honest, we've got so much stuff that we can invest um, on the mainland. I think expanding uh, overseas is just not a priority in the minute. We've got so much stuff we can spend our money on. You know, expanding our resource production, uh, growing our industrial base, expanding our government tax revenue. Upgrading our roads, upgrading our ports, everything. We got money. We we got things to spend money, things to spend our money on across the board. So I think this might just be an episode of booming our economy. We'll probably knock out the Iroquois this this episode as well, which will be something. But for the most part, see. So look at that. For example, the Ottoman intern just flew by. So that's why, if it starts chugging and taking a long time, definitely don't just. Alt F4, it's still maybe salvageable and you might be losing a campaign you don't have to lose. Look, trust me. Give it some time. It's frustrating, it disrupts the flow of play. I know. But uh, this is its just the way it is. For better or for worse. Empire is empire. 14,000. Okay, so you, you're upgraded... You'll get the Iron Master's Works upgrade isn't... I mean, I think I want to get rid of the military governor's bar barracks now in Albany. This area is sufficiently secure. Okay, I'm going to, un I'm going to un exempt you from tax now because you will get over that in one turn. Let's get a House of Representatives in Philadelphia. State capital's been built there. Let's upgrade. Upgrade our government. Although, let's take this one. Not upgrade that. So we can upgrade you. Plus, get ready to upgrade Niagara when the time comes. So let's take them out.
and then we will slowly start building up our armies up against the borders of Maine. Get ready to push. Knock out Montreal and Quebec. Oh, yes. My artillery has just got a free, perfectly open field of fire. So we're going to try and do this a bit more conventionally. Push forward. Probe the enemy. See where their concentrations are. Set up our line. Gun them down. But we are going to push ahead somewhat so that we don't get trapped up here. redeployments let's just pick our uh, our it's just make them shoot at individual different units I mean ultimately if they are that far away push up at speed Let's begin. Start chasing them off. Oh, that did. Okay. Sorry, I took a I took a screenshot and I didn't realize it would. That that'll teach that one. That'll teach that one unit of native bowmen. Garrison Bowman. They thought they could sneak up on our flank. Inform our line. Smash some cavalry in. They're going to get in. Yeah, they're being fired upon. Yeah, go for the Warriors. Regiment of Horse, continue pursuing the Bowmen. My Heavy Cavalry, go for their melee infantry. Yeah, continue moving. Push on. Don't get bogged down, push through them. force collapse. There's more of their troops to the rear. So I'm going to deploy my Curiosity to help try and free up my cavalry on this other flank. So they're jumping on my Curiosity there. They are exposed. They're getting chomped up by garrison warriors. Spin my cavalry around. Curiosity air out of there, too late. But they're going to pay for this. Garrison native bows, a lot of them out here. Come back and attack these medicine men. Send two units in against the medicine men. Reform our line. And 
There we go. Tag the medicine man. Like you're see how gonna hit him in the rear. Can I mean, that medicine man unit is their general? Dip your bayonets and charge. General pursue. I don't ch charge them yet. My cavalry have charged in here. I did always plan on giving them some infantry support. Charge bayonets! Don't let them get away! See, Native American units. You might be real good. Real good in a melee fight, but you know what? There's a point at which proper, properly drilled and equipped powers just don't care. Garrison native warrior unit's gonna go down. There you go, the general unit's been caught up with. These guys push up on the flank. Get my light cavalry up behind them. Cut them down. They killed their general. Their chief is dead. Their empire is destroyed. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Watch that. You guys replenish or try to. Nice. So that is the continental United States secured. So let's get this infantry unit back with back with Nathaniel Green. He'll form up here and be ready to push along the coast. Nation destroyed. We've got our confederacy. And our Gonquin territory is ours. We can upgrade you. Don't want the meeting hall. You can upgrade the craft workshop. Don't want communal farming. Cool. 17,000 next turn. We'll put that to good use if we manage to get it all. So let's hit end turn. My agent died trying to kill the, the, kill the priest. He spent months and months working his way down the coast only to get there. and <laughs> just, He suddenly suffered a fatal heart attack. Oh yeah, Spain. I think Spain might be about to try and work up another uh, work up another attack. But yeah, this is why I wanted to grow my grow my army, grow my army, grow my economy, grow my navy, navy, grow everything. But yeah, we're in a really good position, and our economy is just going to keep on growing. So the the Americas isn't actually the best um, tax base. It's primarily exports. I, just, I mean, generally, I suppose if I had to rank the theatres, I would say America is... Well, I have no evidence or data to back this up. It's just all on my feelings. But it feels like the US is the export capital, Europe is the tax capital, and India isn't quite either, but is very good at both of them. India's got some very good exports, but it's not as much as the US. It's very good on tax, but not as good as Europe. But it's it's, it's still a, a very good region. If you conquer all of India, you're gonna you're gonna take over the world. Oh, Finland swapped hands, swapped swapped uh, sides again. The Russians have taken it back over, but it looks like Sweden's probably gonna take it right back. <laughs> Not that it matters to us. The Norwegian Navy is growing. Yeah, my agent was executed. 
New port emerges in Providence. Trade port. It's a crew sloop to occupy it. So many, so I hate hammers. I've got like a pathological. I despise them. And look how many there are. Upgrade the college to a classical university. Make sure to upgrade the opera house to a national observatory to compensate. So this is what I mean, is like that. So we're looking at a next level port. Five grand, that's a lot that's a lot of money. So even though we might be super powerful, we still need to make sure we grow in the right way. And that's why government buildings end up being so important, is because that it's just a flat tax rate upgrade. I mean, we will want to upgrade farms and all this other stuff. But it's all about making sure we pitch at the right level. So they're 100% Protestant. My agent goes to Upper Louisiana. Start converting them to Protestantism. Then Michigan Territory. Then Niagara. Are you 100% Protestant? You are, but you've got a bit of religious happiness is still keeping you on the straight and narrow. Um, let's upgrade the farm, sure. So let's boot, drop our policies back again. Which hits our income, but it boosts our growth. And growth is what we want. Lots of good upgrades. Can't act on them all. But the stronger our economy is, the better we can respond to everything else, including these Quebecois dogs. Yeah, we're, we're not ready to try and challenge Britain on the seas just yet. We're going to need to just keep building up our forces. Yeah, port upgrades are very good. It's all very good. We we are a kid in a candy store at the minute. We've got so many investment opportunities. It's ridiculous. It's almost the opposite to my Venice campaign where we've not got much money and we've not got much stuff to spend it on. But anyway, let's not start talking about other campaigns. We're, on to, we're in the American campaign. Finland's under siege but not taken yet. Another Norwegian boat. I wonder what you're going to get up to. You need to do some raiding. Gentlemen in Michigan Territory. Let's put you in my... It's going to be in my national... Um, <laughs> national uh, college. Lots of peasant farmlands. Okay. really chase down these government upgrades at the we'll just really chase down one type of government upgrade okay let's get a dry dock four turns let's get a four three ship of the line 1800 yeah, it's gonna be building a Building a craft workshop of some description. Where's my agent? What do you require of me? Eight hundred isn't quite what I want you to do. Yeah, those farms are already upgraded. Good, good, good. So you're replenishing. Okay, you take position, Balmouth. Lots of main people wandering around. Yes, yeah, so when, when we when we push up into uh, the north, take these areas. Yeah, that's where we'll also move against the Plains Nations peoples. And election. 
Less one treasury, less one management, minus one treasury. So he's just four star gen four star in general. Plus one treasury. Plus one management plus minus two treasury. So he's four star in anywhere else but the treasury. So that's a good start. Although you're bad for the treasury, at least I remember. Plus one management, plus one justice. Plus one management, plus one management, plus one army. It, you're good in the justice spot. Well, plus one management, plus one navy. Okay, you're good at the army and the navy. But you're sp particularly good at the navy. Okay, then let's get rid of you, Kenneth Bellamy. Elliot Bacon isn't any good either. 12 grand. I mean, I haven't even gone on, a, gone on a road building extravaganza yet. We're focusing on government buildings, then it may end up being roads. Because so, I may end up having to move my troops all over the shop if something kicks off um, and I'm not prepared to deal with it. Selective breeding. Again, separation of powers and wealth of nations are really good technologies, and that's just not. I mean, if you really need your population to grow, then sure, but we really don't. I suppose, in a way, that's that kind of makes um, farms be bottom of the pile for us, and except for spending our change, because one thing you really don't need to worry about is our population growing. Workers on strike. Okay, can you leave? You can. I suppose I didn't really think about it when I moved you guys. Move my cavalry across. Yeah, that's enough. You're going to stay here for now. I suppose what I might end up doing is recruiting a force like that as a bit of a garrison. A garrison force to run around plugging, in, plugging up the gaps. Albany. Governor's residence. Williamsburg, State House, Magistrate, Governor's Residence, Four Grand. We'll continue road building. Well, some of these areas only have dirt roads anyway, don't they? Yeah, cobbled roads, cobbled roads. Plus 900. We can go build a workshop, a craft workshop. Let's build one back here at. Oh no, we can't because this one's a discount because of metalworking. Cool. Three turns till you're built. We have got a fourth rate coming. Again, so look, we're doing all these investments, but we're actually not. Our money isn't going up by a huge amount. I mean, it will do when I, once I start upgrading my industry. Oh, I didn't boot out my treasury minister either. That doesn't. That didn't help. Could have got some extra uh, free growth, but there we are. And increase in town wealth. That's particularly valuable. Ottomans are uh, just doing regular Ottoman things. But also the people that are just scrapping the most are uh, Russia and Finland up in... Or Russia and Sweden up in Finland. Looks like Sweden's taken Finland back. Yes, they have. I'm happy for them to sit there doing that. It allows me to... <laughs> it allows me to crank through a bunch of turns and start my investment. Well, just keep we'll keep my investment rolling. Carcass shot has been researched. Don't get on with diamond formation. Get on with the 
puddling furnace. State house, state capital. Just get them built and then they're done. Craft workshop has been done. Build one in Ch Chicago. Okay, there's my Humphrey Sloper. He's going to be responsible for garrison duties. Stay in there just for one more turn. 5,700. Chubbies is biased because you do end up, so I think, growing. 450 to 675, poor 375. Five, so that's quite a good grow. That's quite a good step up. Yeah, but a wealthy iron workshop will step up a lot more. Let's get a cheapo trapper post in there. Let's get cheap farm upgrades. Got our fourth rate ship of the line. Colossus. Is he here? Yeah, just need to. I'm spending a lot of money every turn and standing still. Yeah, apologies if this is just a bit boring for you guys. It's, it's kind of a. It's inevitable at times. There's only <laughs> there are, there are times this is just what you have to do. Sometimes we do just you just have to crank through a bunch of turns and invest in your economy. And sure, it might not necessarily well. It's it's not showing now because I knocked my policies down quite. I knocked my policies down a lot, but that's where my my investments in the government buildings will start to show through because tax rates will start jumping up from 6% to 9% and 9% to 12% and and so on and so forth. So it will come good. I think right now it's... We've got to do it now that we're relatively peaceful because when war starts again I'm not going to have that opportunity. Although I should really be balancing it with my preparation for war. Because I can start recruiting some troops. So our focus... So if we're fighting Quebec... Why can't I open up my... I can't open up my diplomacy. I'm not quite sure how else I can get to it. Um, but yeah, by the time when I start doing that, let's take you. Wait a minute, interesting. Can't do that. Sir. Interesting. Every people seem to be stuck. Except for you. Oh, right, right, right. Aggressor Austria. A good defender Quebec. Do I decline and break the well, this is my excuse. I don't want to fight all these people. These are all my good customers. No. Alliance broken between Quebec and the United States. That'll be why. I did start to wonder. That's why I started to look through here. We are no longer allies. Okay, so let's start. We're not allies with Quebec, but are we still... Ooh, yes, trade partners, trade. 
try again. See if any of them have. No. Hanover, do you want to trade? No, unsurprising. I mean, you offer trade with everybody because sometimes the AI can be really. I mean, they don't like me because I broke their alliance. I mean, yeah, you can have wedge, sure. Yeah, why not? See, Venice at one point hated me. Now I offered them trade agreement. Is oh, whoa, what a glorious day! Cool. Okay, it's recruit general here. Osbert McDowell. You're going to request some infantry and artillery just to bolster your numbers. You men. Right, you men can combine. You can position this. No, I can't. Okay, even though that's my line, I guess I can't cross it. Yet. So then you men head south. Gathering supplies. You're gonna have to recruit militia to bolster your numbers. Do I build a state capital or do I build lots of some build some smaller things? Let's get the mine. Let's get a craft workshop. Okay, you're going to position yourself here. Right, so now we're getting ready for war. Oh, we've got the army, but ah, you go for wedge and then get plus four. <laughs> it gets to a point where I just, eat, eat, I'm just not bothered about min, not min maxing, but or, but orchestrating my research. Whatever's available. They want their alliance again and they're willing to pay me for it, and I say no. So now we're gonna start doing some <laughs> Yeah, now they're now they're starting to panic a bit. And it's actually quite useful that we're not uh, at war with the French either yet. We can prepare for our attack on... Well, when we attack Quebec, that's when the French will probably start getting involved. But this, is, this can be why it's so important to have a really good justice minister or head of government. Because then they can start chipping away with positive diplomatic relations <laughs> relations with other these nations that now hate us because we've failed to back up our ally. What they failed to see is we failed to back them up because uh, we don't want Austria to have it, have their territory. We want us to have it. The Ottoman panic. Portugal can help keep our trade lanes clear. Russia tried. They wanted to send some forward to raid the port, but it didn't work. They got caught out. we really need it. Maybe go up to Moose Factory. Agent recruited another gentleman. Oh, who is the gentleman I sent up to here? Um, right, uh, this gentleman. Go to New Haven to balance things out. Good set of upgrades. Oh, 
upgrade the classical university to a modern university. It's going to suck up a lot of my cash. Boot the guy in the treasury, although he's no better. Okay, you're going to get some continental marines. So are they, are they gone because you can't have... Okay, we, because we've now... They've, they've been... We've yes. recruited them. Well, they're fully... That, that force has been fully exploited. Let's get... Some long riflemen. Just get some long riflemen and some rangers. Let's keep... Let's try and spread out some of these... Cool looking elite units. You're getting your militia. Then let's upgrade some farms. Because farms still produce, produce region wealth. Yeah, cool. Uh, they're 100% Protestant. We push on and begin converting. Bought Ponchard train to Detroit. Although you might go there. I mean, not all of you. Not these two cavalry units. You're just a bit of a garrison to block them. Although you're... Hmm. That's a bit of a bad switcheroo. You're, yeah, you want to stay here to offset these guys. Slowly grow, building a force up here. Yeah. Well, I'm going to let this episode extend a little bit just because <laughs> right now we're kind of doing not a whole lot. Let's get some more of this um, done in this episode. Yeah, Quebec forces are quite significant. Yep, you're aware. Okay, let's. We're gonna need to build. I think this is gonna be the a good catalyst to start building up our navy to uh, contest the Niagara River, cut off the south bank from support from the north. Then we can isolate and destroy the north, the south bank, take Maine for ourselves, and then move on the capital. But ultimately, it doesn't look like they have much of a navy themselves, as far as we can tell. But maybe they do. Who knows? But for the most part, the rest of the world seems to be behaving the way we expect. But yes, we want to expand our navy, contest the Niagara River. That will that will help us uh, cover some of the potential uh, Quebecois crossing points as well. If we contest those, the line's broken. Austrian Grand Columbia. <sighs> We don't need second rates, not for this. There's the USS Constitution, we're going to get that built. Then we want to get... Get some fifths to go along with it, because I think we kind of need numbers more so than anything. Good. But yeah, I think we want the big army here. Ready and awaiting orders. Awaiting further orders. You'll be ready to cross over in due course. Okay, then let's get St. Mark's plus Richmond. Build a weaver's cottage. 
545 allows us to upgrade a peasant farm to a tenant farm. Um, I'm going to do one more ten of this. And then I'm probably going to end the episode here because we are... Yeah, we're getting to a... Getting to a good stage. They want military access. Who are they, who are they going after? No. They don't, need, they don't need military access to connect their territory because they've got this pass to the north. <laughs> they know something's up. They want to start. Yeah, why not make peace of the Barbary States? Austria's... No, that's more trade we're not going to get. No! Oh well. Sure, it'll be fine. Ottomans are on the mark. Ooh, that's a lot of Ottoman troops. I wonder when you're gonna are you gonna actually go ahead and do anything? Separation of powers, carcass shot. No. Nope, nope, nope. Portuguese have got a good navy in the med. But everything's pushing along okay. Ooh, more Norway expanding their navy. Oh, the. Hey! Wait a minute. The Dutch took Tangier. Now Tangier is rebelling. Got a good rake. Let's send this rake up towards Yankton just to. as a preparatory. Excursion to see what's going on over there. Nation destroyed. Courland. Tech advance. Diamond formation because fire in advance. Paddling furnace has become. Move on to machine tools. So, what we do want to do is upgrade the army board and the great arsenal just to make sure that we do keep um, possible. Did I not recruit? Oh, I recruited him. So that we keep possible um, tech advances moving forward. 2,700. I mean, there is a point at which it's not really worth upgrading these if they make not very much money. You, you're at the max. 21.2% max rate. Or do we upgrade the port? Plus one per turn to town wealth in the region. Plus three. That's pretty good. Especially as I've got a couple of towns here. Nice. But, making the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continued adventures of the United States. Cheers, everyone.